Right, so we are at VRS today and behind me here I've got, well I've got Kai, we've got Kai. <laughs> and we've also got the world famous Volkswagen Golf R. So this is obviously my car that I bought off of R a few years ago. Uh, we've done a raffle on it, I sold it, I bought it back. Loads of stories, long story short. Um, I ended up selling it to a customer who, I don't actually know what happened, I think he crashed it. I then bought it back from a salvage auction, Copart and um, yeah, we've begun repairing it. Now that all the bodywork has been repaired and we're now at VRS to talk about the next chapter of the video. I think Kai's got and something else to say. the last time you had this was three years ago. Three, three years ago? I think three years and two months, I reckon. I reckon you're absolutely spot on, Kai. Um, that was back when I bought it, three years and two months ago. I think it was December 2018. So uh, the plan for today's video, because the car currently has no engine in it, but the engine is inside, we're going to talk about the problems that we've got the engine, the problems that we've potentially got with the gearbox, and the plan of action to getting this car back on the road. <laughs> So the Golf R is back at VRS after all these years. <laughs> Do you know what though? I absolutely love this car, man. I don't know what it is about this particular guy. It ain't really nothing special, is it? It's just a normal Golf R. But it's, it's history, isn't it? I suppose it's, it's got yeah. a lot of history in yeah, it. This it car history for Ricky's channel originally. Rick, yeah. And when you bought the car, Arthur, who owned the vehicle. Arthur's uh, a bit of a legend in the car yeah, scene as well, he is, isn't he? Yeah, Arthur and Nick, his son as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, they had uh, they did the uh, top speed uh, run at uh, uh, VMAX, VMAX was it? I think, yeah. And then it melted the engine when it was there. Yeah. Uh, for various reasons, but you then, then put a new I, engine in. I then had the car bought here and explained what things that it should really have for doing that sort of run, uh, which we then put on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Then. I don't know how long after I had it after that. Then you, you ended up buying it. I ended up you? buying the car, yeah. And you came here. That's how we met. That's how we this met. How we actually met, met through this oh car, God, Will. It was his car that. <laughs> Come on, mate. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's positive vibes. So, no, so basically, then um, you had the vehicle for a bit. Uh, I believe someone bought it from you. Yeah. Gentleman from London area or something like that. Yeah, he, yeah. We don't we, know. We, we saw it. We saw it after. I don't know whether we don't know who's crashed it. No. We don't know what's happened. But well, it was it running was. big power. It was a powerful yeah, car, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So ultimately, I think what you want to do is put it back how it was, isn't it? Uh, so, ideally, yeah. So, which is great. It's been rescued. It's not been scrapped. So, um, when we saw the car, the pictures, and I've seen it at Dazzers. Obviously, the the, the, the accident had taken it, it hit something underneath yeah we know that, that had, yeah. uh, took the bottom clean off the engine Bloody hell. so you've got the engine block yeah and you've got an aluminium piece at the bottom yeah which is like a, a what they call a top sump mm -hmm. uh, which is like a cradle as well then you have the bottom plastic sump well it's took the aluminium cradle clean off the bottom of the aluminium block so it's so off the steel block so uh, the engine condition is unknown although i suspect it's so NFG. Really? Yeah, which means no flipping yeah. good. <laughs> so really? what I have done now is uh, obviously we had the engine and box delivered here. Yeah. Which is over there. Should okay. we go and look at it now? Yeah, let's go look. So G is looking cool. <laughs> engine box is here. Okay. So I've removed the turbo. The yep. turbo's gone to Turbo Technics to, for him to check whether or not there's any damage internally in the turbo. So what, what turbo did it have on it? Sorry. V5. A V5, which is so, a great which turbo. Is, uh, the, yeah, it's really good turbo. So um, I also I've removed the breather kit off the top to see if there's any damage internally in the engine lifters or anything like that. Just for a little bit so I could see that all looks okay. Okay. So I just thought, I wonder if it's been run dry of oil. I wondered why it had been crashed. Yeah. Had somebody blown it up and then crashed it on purpose. There was lots of things that went through my mind. Of course, you've got to consider history. everything. Yeah, yeah. So, but as you can see down here. Yeah. My hand shouldn't go there. So your hand is currently inside the engine? Yeah, right? there should be an aluminium piece about that big that comes down to here. So it's took that clean off the bottom. Oh no. So I, st I don't think the engine's gonna be any good. I'm going to remove it from the box, put it on a stand, turn it upside down and inspect it. Um, but Mate, that's that's, that kind of impact will have potentially damaged, um, twisted, broken, something the block. So we may end up putting a second hand unit in it. That's a, that's a bit this of a nightmare. Isn't, this, this isn't the original engine anyway, this is one that Nick supplied, so one well, Nick and Arthur. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the gearbox as well has took a whack on the front. No so you way. Go around there, you see the front of the box, the, 
the, the, oh, the mechatronics cover there. The oh mechatronics is directly behind that, so I suspect that's been whacked as well, and the bottom of the box. So unfortunately, mate. So the you may need an engine and the gearbox. <laughs> Which no way. Which you, or what you need to do is put a pound sign. In yeah, the a big pound sign and a big <laughs> head, on, head and hand space. But but we do have lots of bits here. If it, if I take the cover off, is the next thing. I've got to inspect this now, and then make a parts list and look for the bits. So the the basic basically, I'm going to take the cover off the box. Look at the mechatronics. If the mechatronics is busted, mm -hmm. but the part that it mounts to is okay yeah because that has to be perfectly flat because it's in it's a flush fit mm -hmm. if that's all right then we can probably get a mechatronics and put it in and then it'd be all right but i will also i'll take the clutch packs out as well because the clutch packs really were on the, on the limit anyway yeah yeah we know so that if we put a brand new set of clutch packs in it and a mechatronics it might fix the box alternatively we could just get a second hand box we'll see the engine again you don't seem too confident about the engine I wouldn't want to put that back in the car. Really? If it's had that much of a whack. Yeah. Because, you know, if it, if, if the crank, because basically where it's hit it, where the crank comes through, if yeah. that's slightly out of a line, it might start up and it, then after uh, you know, a couple of miles, it might just seize the crank. Okay. And then it could be a whole lot of work taking the engine back out again. But if I remove any bits of shrapnel out of the engine, and remove the gearbox and turn the engine over. If there's no dead spots, I, if it turns over clean with the plugs out, and it's not, it doesn't grab anywhere, that would indicate that the crank isn't twisted from a simple test. Yeah, 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 of course. It's not always you know, <laughs> yeah. but it's a simple but test. But if that was the case, you might then I have the, the aluminium bottom pieces and the sumps and things like that. So okay. this had an aluminium Moroso gate, 650 quid of a gated sump on it. So I had a mega sump on and it. And the reason well, for that was just, to keep it cool. Yeah, yeah it's, keep it's more cool. oil, so it holds another litre and litre and a bit of oil. Uh, it's gated and baffled inside, yeah. um, and it stops the oil rushing up the front of the engine when you're braking hard, which is why they smoke sometimes as well. So there's a lot of weight puts oil down the end, because it comes up through this hole here, it comes yeah. up through into the breather and down that hole, which goes down into the head. So it puts lots of oil in the inside. That's why when these cars go to the Nürburgring, yeah. you'll see them with smoke out of the back, because when you're braking hard and go back on the throttle, the oil rushes up the front of the engine, ah. and it sucks it down in the inlet, you see. So oh, okay. the breather kit stops that, which you had anyway, yeah. and the sump also stops that. So Have we still got all these parts then? The so sumps, there's a piece about that big left. Yeah, not the sump, sorry. The, <laughs> the, breather, the, breather, the breather kit. Yeah, the breather kit's down all there. All the racing line stuff that we have. Yeah, 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 everything. We have everything. got all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meth kit, because this car had meth before, didn't it? Yeah, the meth kit will just need a few bits of repair. The so, intercooler, I had a Wagner intercooler which is destroyed, things like that. So so we're going to run meth again and try and get it back to... We'll put it back how it was, yeah. yeah. Ultimately, the kit's there. The, meth, the, the bit that's broke will be a bit of plastic pipe. Mm -hmm. And then the, the injector on the end of the intercooler, I've got those anyway, so that's not a big deal. Okay, so... The oil cooler it had yep i'm not going to put that back on because it's not necessary so what you tend because to like you said the nature of driving or the runs it was doing before it was doing sort of high speed runs so yeah it's not and uh, i i i don't feel that the the, the thing is with the oil cooler oil cooler and the extra oil and some it takes a lot longer for the car to warm up it used to took, take ages for yeah, this car so it's probably that. not necessary anymore okay and I, I i think that um you know the sump does a good enough job anyway so okay all temps and I say, if somebody bought it and wanted to go on track with it continually, then they could put another oil cooler on. But yeah. I don't think it's necessary right now. Fair enough. So that's that's my point of view on that. Um, and then we have things like, it's broke like this, it's this here, and there's a few other bits. But at the end of the day, you know, these are all minors. You know, the major is the fact that it's got no bottom to the engine. Yeah, but I suppose the beauty really is that this is something that you're super familiar with. Obviously, you're doing golfs and stuff. Yeah, I've all got the tons time. and tons of bits. So if there's it's any amazing. bits of bracket that are broke, things like that, I've got lots of spare. So what That's we'll brilliant. do is we'll put it back together as best we can. Um, we'll check the engine. It would be cool to run the same engine yeah. for it to have gone it through all that. Um, and as long as but the other the other thing is, I know I've said that it might have. It could have damaged the block and twisted. If the impact was fast enough for it to just knock it off, clean off, yeah, then that that's less less likely to have damaged it. Cool. But if it, like, but 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 a hard stopping impact is what tends to break something. So right now, it's further investigation needed. You don't I'm know. Right. I've done my little bits. The turbo, so the turbo, I sent it off to see if 
um, it had got any damage inside it. It hadn't. It was perfect. So that's one bit of good news. Yeah, so that means that realistically, when the car was running, mm -hmm. there wasn't any shrapnel or bits. So it, it must have been running when it, when it crashed, in my opinion. I don't know. Running that well. From, yeah, running well. So I think, because there was no internal damage to the turbo, no bits. Uh, the shaft was all good, so that's good. So we so haven't. Turbo's got, safe. Turbo's fine, yeah. yeah. So we haven't got to do anything with that. Excellent. So that's yeah. always an expensive part as well. So yeah, the original, the turbo that was on this was a Gen One mm -hmm. turbo. So I've updated it to a Gen Two as well. Put the later exhaust oh, outs on. So I've right. done a few other bits, mm -hmm. um, which uh, just make it better again. So because Arthur wanted the first turbo to come out when he first built it he wanted the first one oh, which right. he got yeah so now that's all been updated so, oh wicked so okay we've done that because we, we had the bit so what about the miltech exhaust because that's obviously a massively expensive thing on this car yeah i mean ultimately i don't i've not actually looked at the exhaust did did Daz look at it i can't remember because he obviously went to Daz and Daz has took the engine box out at the back it looks all right <laughs> basically so i bought the car obviously from an auction, unseen, just because it was it was my old car. I was yeah, in, yeah. I saw it. I was in love with this car, right? Yep. yep. The bodywork was was a lot worse than we expected. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We've ended up doing a whole respray. The parts yep. were mega expensive. Yep. I'm about twenty grand deep into this car already. Yep. Uh, including the buying including it. Including buying it. I was gonna say, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh no no no. Sorry. I think we've done about. I think it's about fifteen grand buying the car. But still to but still to build. If you bought a straight car to build another one, it would cost us. You're going to end up the same amount. So ultimately, you're not you're not going to lose out. And at least we know it's going to be got done. To, it's, it's a shame it's cat s, but it will be got done to a good standard, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know what Daz has done looks amazing. So uh, and and as well, well, obviously we'll clean all the engine bay before we put everything in. We'll mm -hmm. make all that good. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it will be ultimately as, as good a car as as it ever it was. Would, as it ever was. Yeah. So wicked. Uh, yeah, and and the only, what was the other thing I was going to say? Because I stopped you, didn't I? Sorry about that, mate. No, no, that's all right. Wheels brains ticking away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you bought the Pretz. Mate, the, do you know, this is like, when I had the car all them years ago, yeah, I yeah. always wanted Pretz for it, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I always had the Cadiz wheels. I used, oh, yeah, exactly that. The Cadiz wheels just made the car look a bit plain. It, it looks like a different car now. It, it literally does. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does look, look... a totally different car. Yeah. So I, 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 I love the fact that you've got a Pretz on it now. So. Dead genuine as well, Michelin tyres. Yeah. Oh wow. Put a full set of Michelin. Where did on. you get them from? Literally, I put a post on my Instagram. Yep. A guy, a couple of uh, streets up from my house. No way. Reached out, said, "Mate, I live in the same village as you. Do you want to? Um, and I've got a set of these wheels for sale. Do you want to come buy them? Wow. So, yeah. And they were reasonable money as well. So yeah, yeah, that's good. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Have they been refurbed? They haven't been refurbed, but they, they don't haven't? need. Nah, nah. Well, it's just they're they're, they're still brand new, aren't they? they look new. Yeah, wow. super fresh. And. Um, yeah. Do you know what? Tell a lie. They have been refurbed because Ollie at RRT picked them up from there. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah, they're mint, aren't they? I'm looking at them. <laughs> they're mint. Wow. We've had so many wheels refurbed lately. I can't keep up to, up to tracks with it. But yeah, they have been refurbed, aren't they? They're mint. Yeah, that could say that one. <laughs> Kai's loving it. Is that, in fact, Kai just, said, Kai just said, Dad, do you know what? I remember this car now. He's sitting in there, look. Because <laughs> we would have spent a hell of a lot of time in it. Cool. So that is what we're going to do with a Golf. We're going to make it right, make it big power again, and then we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, cool. All right, wicked. Right. So yeah, that is the update on the Golf R. It is all doom and gloom, but do you know what? This, to me, this ain't just a categorised Golf R. This is my old Golf R. I am still just as excited about this car as I was the day that I bought it off of Arthur all them years ago. And it is a shame it's Cat S, but do you know what? It's had a full respray by Darkside Body Shop in Leicester. It is absolutely mint. We've had a new dash put in it, a new steering wheel. We've had absolutely loads done to it. It is super fresh. It's still only done, I think, 45,000 miles. Quite low mileage, quite. Yeah. Uh, so it's a low mileage car, and it is the original sort of Calvin's Car Diary Channel car. So, and Kai, and what Kai? When I was little, I didn't know what this car even was, but I quite liked it, and now I really like it. You really? You like it even more now? So, it is. It's a cool car, man. It's a wicked car. I always loved all the cars that we bought when I was very young. Really? What was your favourite car? You know what? What's your favourite car that Daddy's ever had? He's had loads of fast cars back then. I'll say I was a McLaren or a Ferrari. <clears throat> McLaren or a Ferrari? I reckon Golf R's the best, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we are now going to film a, a first drive video on the G-Wiz. That might have gone up already, I don't know. But if it has, I'll put a link for that in the description below. Uh, but yeah, the Golf R is obviously going to stay here now. 
Will's going to begin inspecting Furbar on the engine and the gearbox front and at some point very soon hopefully not too long we'll get this car back on the road and do a first drive on it all right so I'm gonna wrap it up leave it at that thank you very much for watching I hope you like this video I will link Dark Side Body Shop and VRS in the comments in the description below and get you some subscribe or someone's gonna do something and get you um hit subscribe hit like if you like this video and if you're on instagram give me a follow on instagram at calvin's card all right bye